Well, there's something neat you might want to check out at the American Cancer Society Discovery Shop, but you better head out quick before they're all gone. They're so cool. Ashley Williams is live uh, or, or was live earlier this morning in Sacramento checking all of it out. Check it out. Hi guys, good morning. Get ready, set your clocks, or I should say set your calendars, mark your calendars uh, for June 1st because you're going to get an opportunity, guys, to get your hands on uh, really some exquisite pieces of artwork, specifically Japanese wood block, I'm sorry, is it wood block, wood block prints, wood block prints, there we go. Um, it, this is really, truly so incredible to get to, to see this and witness this. Some of these guys of what you're seeing dating back to the 1700s, some 1760s, and then uh, after that, but so cool to get a chance to get that a big sale, a pop up happening at the Discovery Shop on June 1st. Now we saw you guys in the seven o'clock hour and I promised you if you waited around for the 10, you would get a chance to see the oldest woodblock print that they have to offer come June 1st. Karen Yee, good morning. Good morning. And you are holding that print. Tell me all about yes, it. This is a woodblock print that is dated in the 1790s and it's by uh, Kaya Naga. And you can see that it's more black and white because they use vegetable uh, dyes on it. It wasn't as vibrant, but it's really quite exquisite. And you can see the fine lines in it. It's just how somebody can, you know, carve just tiny little lines and put it on paper. I mean, that's the way they were printing these wow. things. And again, that's the oldest print that you have to sell and to offer uh, come June 1st. Um, and yeah, go ahead, you can show and the back. We also, we also have... Um, I don't know, the receipts, and also some authentication from the Ishii uh, company in Yokohama, Japan. Very cool. So Very that's cool. Neat. Um, and, and let's talk about, just again, for people who are just tuning in, why these woodblock prints are so special and so unique. Well, because they're so old and because they're handmade. I mean, it just took uh, these two to four to six weeks to make one print, and uh, they would just have to carve it from a, and it also, there's sensor seals on it. Uh, if you see a little round dot on it, uh, because the government was censoring some of these, you couldn't uh, print out, uh, say, prostitutes or courtesans yeah. at a certain period of time. Um, but they also were connected with Kabuki theater. So a lot of prints were made for actors as an advertisement, like a poster advertisement. Yeah. And some of them were just plain scenery. So it just kind of depends on you know, what you like. Yeah. And then were you going to talk yeah, about Yeah, yeah. She's like, go for it, Ashley. Yes, I will guide you to that. Everybody feast your eyes here on, yes, a woodblock prints, but it's a little bit different in style. Tell me the difference between right. what we're seeing here versus what you just showed These us. These are called triplets, and they are three pieces of paper glued together, but they had to be aligned exactly so that it makes one cohesive picture. Yeah. So this is by Kunisada, which he's a pretty famous artist. This one is another one that's Chikanaga, but... Uh, Anyway, he did, uh, a lot of people like these because they could see the latest uh, kimono fashion. Oh. And women like to buy prints yeah. <laughs> because of yeah. the, they wanted to see the hairdos and the kimono fashions. Yeah, it, it really is stunning. We were talking earlier and I told Karen guys, I said, hey, I go, it's interesting. You might walk into a building or a restaurant or even someone's home and see these on the wall. It might not even realize how big of a deal it is. Well, you could obviously grab that come June 1st. What are the, what are the details, Karen, for the pop-up uh, next week? Well, we're just going to um, display everything on the wall. We've got lots of different Japanese artifacts also a lot for sale. And uh, just come into the, sh the Discovery Shop and, and shop around. Yeah, and the information there on your screen, we'll make sure to put it on our website, gooddaysacramento.com. But also, before we go, let's talk price. Lowest uh, price maybe for a print would be? Uh, probably 129 All right. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. All right. So it turns out Cody might be in line, guys. So uh, if you want to get your, <laughs> if you want to get some, you can certainly do that. But just watch out for Cody, and he might try to tell you a dad joke while waiting in line. No. Just saying. Yeah. But that would be actually kind of fun. <laughs> actually, no.